This month I snagged not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but eight hoop shoes this month. And today, we're ranking them. But bang, what is good YouTube? It is your boy Stash Tooper, AKA. And today we are ranking my hoop shoes. This is kind of like a monthly series I've been doing now. Uh, you guys seem to like it. It's like probably one of the best performing videos that I post on a monthly basis. So shout out to you guys. I'm going to keep on doing them. And this month, again, we, we got a lot of hoop shoes. I averaged about a hoop shoe every three to four days. So that's eight hoop shoes in the total month, really seven, but I included in another shoe that's not really a hoop shoe. But I'm gonna show you a montage real quick of the hoop shoes, and then we will get into making a tier list slash ranking of them. So, uh, go to it. <laughs> you're introduced to all the hoop shoes again a lot of heat you guys got a little look at them now let's actually head over to the computer get to ranking them and get to action so bang, here we go we got the computer going um apologies in advance my mac is currently overheating so it does look a little sketchy when i pick up things and put it back down but honestly that doesn't really mean much to me so it will look a little laggy in post, but you know what? We're still ranking them. We're still talking about them. So let's get to it. So as you saw in the montage, uh, we have all the shoes. I'll introduce them real quick and then we'll get to ranking. We do have the Harden Volume 7 Teal Colorway Super Heat. My brother actually got me those, so shout out to him. Next up, we got the GT Hustle 2. Now, I do not know the name of this colorway, but it is pretty heat. Up next, the Curry 11s. First Curry I've ever owned, so shout out to Curry Man. After that, we have the Lightning McQueen Crocs. Really, really heat. One of my favorite casual shoes at the moment. Then we got the Converse All-Star BB Trilliant CX. Crazy name, crazier colorway, poisonous frog. We like that. And then after that, the Zion 3s, which crazy looks. A little bit narrow, if I'm being honest with you. Review coming soon. And then we also have the New Balance 2 Wavy 4s and the LeBron 21. I don't know the colorway. So now that we got all the shoes introduced, we'll get to ranking them. Let's get it. So off rip, I do want to clarify, all these shoes are really fire. And so far, I, I really like all of them. And there's not one shoe that I'm like, this is dog-ish. All really good hoop shoes, and I would recommend them. But there are obviously favorites. And if I'm going to have to rank them, someone's going to have to get last place. This does not mean they're a bad shoe. It just means in comparison to the others, they're not as good. So now that I got that clarification out the way, I'm going to go ahead and put the GT Hustle 2s in the 8th spot. Now, this shoe does... Get a decent amount of hate uh, i'd say the biggest problem that i have with them are the looks semi-decent the support is really what's not so hot about it literally like zero lateral support um, on top of this the traction is semi-sketchy there's a really weird traction pattern that has like dots on the bottom with herringbone so that's a little bit weird but again really good hoop shoe crazy crazy cushion setup if i'm just going to sh get some shots up honestly these are probably one of my favorites right now but if you're going to actually play basketball in a game not so hot in comparison to the others. But still a great hoop shoe. So that's the number eight spot. On to the next. This may be a little controversial, but I am going to go ahead and put the new Zion 3s in the seventh spot. Now, I do think the looks are absolutely fire. Probably one of the best looking shoes on this ranking. But one thing I will say is through the two or three uses that I've had so far with them, again, review coming soon, I will say that they are extremely narrow, which I don't have like a narrow foot or a flat foot or a wide foot. I have a normal foot. And these feel a little narrow, bro. So when I was wearing them, it did hurt a little bit on the sides of my foot. So laterally and uh, overall, I'm not too, too, too impressed. So maybe I have to break them in more. But as of right now, easily the number seven spot. I was debating on popping them in number eight. So sorry, Zion. The snack machine. Snack attack. But bang, now that we have that out of the way, we're going into the sixth spot. And I think this is where it really gets tough. So man, honestly, number six. I'm gonna have to go ahead and pop in the Lightning McQueens. Now, honestly, these probably should go in the number eight spot because I am ranking hoop shoes, but honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. So these easily get the sixth spot. 
cool casual shoe they even light up so they're kind of they're kind of filthy but like honestly man they shouldn't even be on this list so i'm not even going to talk anymore let's move on to number five so in the five spot again i want to clarify all great hoop shoes but we do have to rank them so in the five spot i'm going to go ahead and say the converse all-star trilliant cx but these again crazy cool colorway that poisonous frog that i thought was a snake personally my mistake really fire colorway really underrated i will say converse is probably one of the most underrated basketball brands when it comes to hoop shoes i've been a fan of their brand for about three four years now in regards to basketball shoes and they're just now starting to get that credit which i've been giving them all along so shout out to converse again crazy good hoop shoe review coming soon on those two now we're moving on to the four spot here i'm gonna have to go ahead and pop in the New Balance two-way V4. Now this was again a really close spot between this and the number three spot, but one thing that I do not like about the two-way V4 so far that also happened with the two-way V3s is during break-in time, you actually get a weird sore in the inside of your foot. And what I mean by that is not like inside of your foot, but if you're wearing a shoe, like let me get my feet out with socks, but right here on your foot, you'd actually get this blister, which took me out of hooping for like two weeks when I got the two-way V3s, but with these, I was a little more sensible and it's going to take a lot of break in time to actually get that hard material to soften up and not give you a blister there. But other than that, crazy cushioning, crazy performance. I really, really love the shoe. Again, performance review coming soon. I'm really behind. I'm sorry, guys. But again, other than that little blister spot, really, really good hoop shoe. Again, New Balance, really underrated. You never see people hooping that. But number four spot solidified. Great, great hoop shoe review coming soon. And like I said, it was very close between the four and the three spot. So in the three spot, no brainer, I'm gonna have to pop in the Curry 11s. Now these I've only been able to use two times prior to this video. And let me say in those two times, I've been very impressed. I've never had a pair of Currys before like I've specified and the Curry 11s kind of surprised me. They had that Flowtro technology. That's not only the cushion setup, but also the traction setup. So it's kind of like really, really unique in that sense that it's the same exact material. But really, really good performance. Really good bounce. It has that little TPU plate in the bottom, so you get a little bit of bounce in there. And the only problem that I really have with the shoe is the fact that it does feel a little chunky in the sole at times. And then on top of that, it picks up a lot of dust due to the fact that it's foam. But other than those two little things, again, really good hoop shoe, and I would recommend it to a lot of people. And now we get into that number two and number one spot, which in my opinion, no brainer right here, bro. In the number two spot, we're gonna hand it to the LeBron 21s. Now these get that whopping price tag of about 200 minus taxes and shipping, bro. So you're looking more towards about 230. But these hoop shoes, absolutely fire performance. I'm telling you, hands down, one of the best cushioning setups I've ever felt in the basketball shoe. And off of looks, I thought these things would be absolute bricks. They look like they're gonna be about 20 pounds each. But to my surprise, they were actually pretty much the same exact weight as the LeBron 20s, which I really, really enjoyed. But again, crazy cushion setup, really good looks in my opinion. And on top of everything, really, really premium materials, which I mean, if we're being honest here, you should get that for about $200. So overall, again, great hoop shoe, good enough to hit that number two on the list. And obviously that number one goes to the Harden Volume 7 Aquamarine route. Let me just pop it on there on the list and let's talk about it. So again, shout out to my brother, Little Dubes for snagging me these. I sold actually my last two hardened colorways and honestly, that was a great decision. Those two colorways I didn't really like too much but I love the performance so I sold those and I had the intentions of buying a colorway but and then my brother surprised me and just snagged it because he's a nice dude. So again, shout out to that dude. I have yet to actually use these because I'm using shoes to review but these are hands down one of my favorite shoes in my collection so far just because of those fire looks. And if I'm being honest with you, Harden 7's hands down one of the best performers of the year so. That too. But again, overall, great hoop shoe. My opinion, top three best looking hoop shoes in my collection. And I think that's about it, man. That's all I got. So let me know how you guys feel about this ranking. That list right there that you see right there. Let me know how you feel about that ranking right there. And let me know down in the comments what your ranking is. I would really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys liked. Maybe if I made a mistake in a list that you guys disagree with. But overall, man, again, fire list, fire shoes. Thankful to be someone who gets seven, eight pairs of hoop shoes in a month. So again, shout out to you guys for giving me this platform. So bang, that's it, man. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm giving away a pair of shoes this month. Bang, that's how you enter. All you gotta do, subscribe, comment under any video I post this month. Shoe size along with your favorite part about that given video. So today you can say, that list was ass. 
size 12 and that's an entry into the giveaway you could do that under multiple videos that i posted this month multiple entries into the giveaway and i will be announcing who wins that pair of jaw ones on the first of november so go do that before it ends you still have some time my boy but i appreciate y'all for watching this far because not a lot of people do if you could like comment subscribe i would appreciate it immensely hope you guys have a good one i'm gonna do my best too adios